Check my drag. There he is. There he is. Yeah. You got him. <laughs> What's up y'all? I'm on the bayou today and I'm going to teach y'all how to catch gar. And uh, this rig is really for spotted, long nose and short nose gar. Uh, the smaller gar species. I would not try this out on a gator gar. We got a slip float here and this can slide up and down your line. You can set it at whatever depth you want. And then I think the number one thing that people do wrong when they're gar fishing is they use way too big of hooks. So here we got a size 12 J hook and it's literally a perch hook. It's tiny and it's exactly what you want for gar fishing. Another thing that people do is they use heavy wire leader for the small gar and you really don't need that. All you need, I got 15 pound mono on here and I've never broken off or had a gar cut me off. And for bait, you wanna catch small bait fish that are already in the creek or bayou or river that you're fishing in and you either put them on hole or cut them in half and just throw it out there and the gar will find it. So when you get a bite, what you wanna do is just open your bale, just let line out and let that gar run with it. And uh, he's gonna move through the water and he's gonna stop. And what he's doing when he stops, he's eating on it. He's chewing on it. And uh, what you wanna do, you wanna let that hook get in the back part of the gar's mouth, which is softer, cause there's no chance you're gonna hook the gar in the top of the jaw, it's just too bony. So you wanna let it get in the back part the small hook really works well with that because it's tiny and they can get it down easily and also they can get it out really easily and it doesn't really bug them if you can't get the hook out with pliers. Before I get started fishing, I designed some awesome gar t-shirts. So before I order them, I wanna see who's interested in buying one. So if you are, just leave a comment below. Gar right there. Oh, 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 he got it. That was awesome. He's running with it right now. He took it under actually. A lot of times they don't take it under, they just run with it on top. But today they are taking it under. When that happens, just let it run and uh, let it run until it comes up or it starts moving really fast. Just give it like a minute. All right, I'm gonna set the hook. There he is. <laughs> little guy. Got the hook out. There he goes. Beautiful. Let me get the bigger one first. There he goes. <laughs> see, now he's running with it. You'll see the float. Oh, another gar came up and ate the float. What the heck? He's about to eat it again. You see, the float's just sitting there. He's kind of chewing on it right now. And uh, once he starts running again, that's how you know you have him. You can set the hook finally. All right, float actually went under, but he's starting to run with it. I'm gonna set it. There he is. <laughs> there are so many gar in here today. Really pretty spotted gar. I'm gonna try to bank flip them. There we go. Perfect. And there, this one is just pretty gorgeous. And uh, what happens with the hook is it's in the back of his mouth right now. You try not to let him eat it past that. And uh, it's a really tiny hook, so you can either get it out or honestly just cut the line and leave it in there. It's so tiny that they'll get it out in no time. Cut the line. There he goes. I gotta run. Oh, look at that bowfin. Oh, I, he ate it and now he's trying to eat my cork. <laughs> he's like nudging my cork with his nose. I'm pretty sure he got it down though, so I'm gonna set it. Big one. Yeah, that's a big one. Biggest one by far. Mm-hmm, that's a good size car. Look at that. 
pretty spotted gar. Let's see if I can get the hook out. There he goes. Kind of squirmed out of my hands, but biggest one so far. Guys, I see the bowfin right here. I just put the shad on it. He ate it. He ate it. He ate it. Oh my gosh. He's, he's probably four or five pounds, but he just nailed the shad. I think I can set it. Check my drag. There he is. There he is. Yep. Yeah. Got him. <laughs> That's awesome. I kind of lost him for a while and then he went in this hole and uh, I saw him swim right up to the bank and I dropped the shad right on him. He nailed it. Heck yes. I haven't caught a bowfin in a while. Hooked right in the corner. It's literally a hundred million year old species right here. It's a pretty good size one. Oh gosh. Keeps flopping. Right there, look at that. He's bigger than I thought he was. Remember guys, these are native species. They've been around for a hundred million years. Just like alligator gar. These are not invasive snakeheads, so do not kill these if you catch them. They're they're actually one of my favorite fish to catch. They're so cool. Well, there he goes. He's gone. <laughs>